Hello everyone, this is Pat from PSA Custom Creations, and today we're going to talk about bells. Uh, as you may know from my website, PSACustomCreations.com, or my Etsy shop, uh, I make a lot of bells, or a good amount. So far I've probably made about 150 bells that I've sold either online or at arts and craft shows. And generally I try to put a video of the bell on my Etsy uh, site and link it to a YouTube video so that you can see and hear what the bell sounds like. Now, I've only done one comparative video in the past, that was a couple years ago, and since then I've had some people ask me some questions about what the bells sound like and how to compare one bell to the next. Uh, I've used fire extinguishers, I've used steel 72 uh, or larger or different size scuba tanks as well as aluminum cylinders. Now there is a difference between those three different materials or three different items. A fire extinguisher and I'm going to use these as examples. A fire extinguisher generally contains and holds less pressure. So the wall thickness of a fire extinguisher is a lot thinner. This is a slice off of a fire extinguisher. Uh, it's only about a sixteenth of an inch thick. It doesn't have to hold as much pressure. Now this is a slice off of a 72 cubic foot steel scuba tank. If you look, it's about a quarter inch or eight, yeah, maybe about an eighth inch thick. So about twice as thick. Now this, on the other hand, is the actual slice from an 80 cubic foot aluminum scuba tank. You can see this is heavy duty. It's a half inch thick aluminum. Now what does all this mean? It means that the difference in material, thickness, diameter, and length will have an effect on the bell. Steel cylinders will generally have a longer resonance and a little bit deeper sound. The thicker aluminum won't quite sound the same because there's so much mass here for it to resonate. Now there are probably some musicians out here who are going to tell me I'm doing something a little bit wrong uh, or if some of my terms are incorrect. Please feel free to go ahead and comment on that and hopefully you'll educate me and the rest of the people watching. And also I wanted to point out as an example since some people aren't aware of it but an aluminum scuba tank this is an aluminum 80 and I sliced it in half to make a bookend. If you can see how thick this portion of the top portion of the cylinder is, you'll see it has a half inch wall thickness up to approximately an inch or more up near the neck of the cylinder. Now all this comes into play with the way these cylinders sound. A steel cylinder will have considerably less thickness in the wall as well as at the neck area. Now in addition to, excuse me, in addition to the thickness of the material, the type of material, and length and diameter of the bell, and I have an assortment here to try to show you what it sounds like. What you strike the bell with also makes an impact. I have a piece of disc or a disc of wood that I use sometimes. I have my super special striker, which is nothing more than a baseball and a stick. And then this one, on the other hand, is a hard rubber caster. So you've got varying degrees of hardness. And you'll see as I go through this how those materials sound when I hit the bells. And I'm going to try to be consistent with the, the strength that, what, that I hit it with. Work with me on this a little bit. Now what I have behind me, again, some of us, like me, grew up using a Steel 72 as a scuba tank. This is what I got qualified on over 30 years ago, we'll say. Um, so we were pretty happy at the time. We thought this was good. Not long after I got certified, they started coming out with our aluminum 80s. Aluminum 80 is considerably thicker, like I said, thicker material, bigger size, etc. Now there are, in this day and age, different size cylinders. You have low pressure cylinders that are steel, that are 109 cubic foot, 120 cubic foot. You have ones that are even smaller pony bottles uh, that, you, that you may wear. You have little 3 liter bottles all the way up to 109 cubic foot bottles. So you can see different sizes, you'll find different sizes. All those different sizes will change how those bells sound. What I have behind me, this was a steel cylinder, about an eighth inch thick, regular 72. You can see this is cut off about 10 inches long, and this is a longer steel 72 where I just cut the bottom rounded portion off. This was an old propane tank, or excuse me, a CO2 tank, like you would see at a firefighting apparatus, or at a, a restaurant for mixing beverages, putting carbonation in beverages. What I'm going to do is talk about and, and hit these. I'm going to use my baseball first. Now there is a striker inside of it, so that's also what you're hearing. A little bit hard, or a sharper sound because it's a smaller diameter. 
short portion of a 72. It has a real nice long resonance. Longer 72. A little bit deeper sound. Again, you're going to have a nice long resonance from a steel cylinder. Larger diameter uh, carbon dioxide cylinder. You can hear the difference in sound. You'll also notice how long it resonates. Now I also have below a couple of steel fire extinguishers. These are thin, very thin metal, so they're going to sound a little bit different. Not as quite of a, a deep of a sound, nor as long of a resonance. A decent sound, a good sound, is just different. Now again, we had our baseball. hard rubber caster, a little bit sharper from the impact, a little bit sharper initial sound from the impact, and then a rubber, or excuse me, a wooden disc. That's what's inside there right now is a wooden cat or wooden disc. Personally, I like the baseball better. But it depends on what the people want. It also depends, of course, on how these are made and what I put inside of them. Now, I also have behind me some aluminum cylinders. This is your typical oxygen bottle that you would see in a medical kit. Sometimes you see them on dive boats. Sometimes you see them in medical oxygen kits that people wear, wear around on their shoulder, on a, if they're, they have a breathing disorder. Sometimes you see them in the store. So it's a standard oxygen cylinder. These are actually a little bit thicker than a steel cylinder. So they're about 3 16 thick. Not a whole lot of sound to them. Even hitting it with my rubber caster. That's going to give you some more sound because it has a harder material. Top of an aluminum 80, about the same length as our steel 72 over here. Now this again has a, about a half inch wall thickness. You're going to have to hit it pretty hard because it has such a thick wall. Or use something a little bit harder like our caster. Now, this is an aluminum 80. I'm actually turning it into a bell, but I'm also engraving. I have someone who's ordered this as a custom order on Etsy. So they have a real nice little octopus I'm in the process of engraving. It's going to be a bell. They want to put this up in a dive shop so the customers can come in and ring the bell. So they're going to probably need something like this caster again, or the baseball, but the baseball they're going to have to hit pretty hard. Caster. That's an aluminum cylinder. You can see there's quite a bit of difference in tone from the aluminum cylinders. So if we have an aluminum of this length and a steel cylinder of that length, using our rubber caster to make them to make the sounds the same. The aluminum has a higher sound to it. If we were to use the rubber the rubber caster again on the shorter bell. A little bit sharper sound again from the aluminum. Wood disc. You're going to have to hit them pretty hard on the aluminum cylinders. And because of the thickness, because of the mass of the aluminum cylinders, they're not going to resonate quite as long. It's going to take a lot more force in order to hit them, or in order to get them to sound. And I also have off to the side of my steel, steel 72, which I've cut out to make this little interesting shape. This is going to have quite a bit different sound because of the way it's been cut out. But it's also going to have some real nice visual uh, appeal to it. You'll actually see, if you're looking real close, you can actually see these parts vibrate. And that's just using, that is just using a wooden disc inside there. If I were to use my, my uh, baseball, 
Now, since we're talking aluminum again, we had our aluminum scuba tanks, which are really thick. Let's also talk about an aluminum fire extinguisher. This is a standard aluminum fire extinguisher, about an eighth inch thick, so about the same thickness as a, fire, uh, a scuba tank. These actually have some real nice sounds to them. Now, I also do have, which people like because it's nice and small, little tiny fire extinguisher you might see in a kitchen or someplace like that in a, in a car. So, again, you've got steel cylinders. Because of the, the material and because of the thickness of it, they're going to tend to have a real nice resonance, longer resonance to them. Aluminum cylinders, a thin aluminum cylinder, or excuse me, a aluminum cylinder like an a auction bottle, a higher sound, shorter 80, longer 80, our short steel cylinder, and one last time with our baseball. Now, if you look on my Etsy site, or if you look on my webpage, PSACustomCreations.com, you'll see a lot of times for the steel cylinders, what I will do is weld a decorative piece on top. I can make any type of design you want. These, just because they're scuba, and because I'm trying to appeal to a different audience, I have scuba valves on there, which I've drilled through, and actually put eye bolts in there. But I can make any type of decorative design on top of it, and anything from swooshes to circles to faces. Uh, you name it, I can do it for you. If you want a specific color, I can do that. I can leave them a bare metal, so they develop a real nice looking rust or patina. Or I can just paint them to virtually any color that you want. Uh, so please, if you want any more, or if you have any more questions about bells, please feel free to email me at psacustomcreations uh, at yahoo.com. Visit my website, psacustomcreations.com, or please visit my Etsy shop, and you can actually see the bells I have in stock. And then on those bell or on those listings, you'll also see a link to a use, uh, YouTube video uh, page where you can listen to the bell that you're going to buy. Thank you, everyone.